Welcome guys, in this video I want to show you how to solve for x when you're given a point that looks like a midpoint, but it's actually not. Okay, so in this problem we have a lot kind of going on, and a lot of times the students would assume, because they see q looks perfectly in the middle, that it is going to be the midpoint. Therefore, I can set 5x plus 2 equal to a 25 minus 2, and a 25x minus 2. But that is not the way to do that, okay? So please do not do this. What we need to understand is like what actually each of these kind of represent. So we have pq, which is a 5x plus 2. So what I like to do sometimes is let's go ahead and just actually write that in. So we have a 5x plus 2, and then we have a 25x minus 2, which is from q to r, right, over here. And so that's 25. Okay, then they're giving us PR, which is going to be a nine. Okay, so we're given both parts and then we're also given the whole. So what does that mean? How can we use that to our advantage? And especially use this to our advantage to be able to solve for, to solve for our missing value X. And because remember, when we have an X in an equation, we need to create an equation, right? We need to have an equal sign. And so what is going to be equal to what? So the best way I like to look at this is why don't we just kind of use regular numbers and forget about all the, the variables and stuff like that. Let's just have a nice line. Okay, and let's just do P, let's put Q here, and let's do R. Now let's say this is seven, and then let's say this whole length here is 10. So what do we know about this missing value, or what can we say about that missing value? Well, we, we're not saying seven is equal to X, right, because we know that's not true, right? Seven plus seven is 14, not 10. So what we know though, is that seven plus X is equal to 10. That is what we call the segment addition postulate. So we can say the two parts of our line are going to add to the whole, right? And then now we can add, subtract the seven on both sides and say X is equal to three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the exact same thing we can do here, right? We know part plus part equals whole. And hopefully it should make sense. If it doesn't make sense here sometimes because there's so much going on, Hopefully over here, you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty obvious, like part plus part equals whole. So I don't want you to be like kind of overwhelmed when you're just looking at these equations, but we can say 5x plus two plus 25x minus two is equal to nine. Now we just need to use our solving equations technique, right? We have an equation, so now we can go ahead and solve for x. So in this case, I'm gonna set the 5x plus the 25x, which is gonna be a 30x, and a two plus the negative two is going to be a zero. 30 x equals nine. Now we just need to solve for x, so we'll go ahead and divide by a 30, and x is gonna equal a 3 tenths. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.